Hey everyone, AJ here uh, with another episode of just <clears throat> animating in Swift UI. Um, just wanted to kind of create a more exciting tutorial here. Um, I went ahead and just created this basic UI here. We have a custom uh, tab bar through the H stack, um, through an H stack. There are some little quirks here with this. I will explain at the end of this video but we use lazy V stack with this so that it's scalable and it's responsive on all devices. And then when we click search, this little thing pops up in the background. We have our search um, and you know, just a basic, basic UI. And then for profile, it slides in and we have, you know, just a basic profile page, nothing crazy. Um, and then we go back to home, you know, it, it just animates. So we have these pretty cool animations here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do them. First and foremost, we're in, we're in this video, we're going we're gonna to focus on getting our UI uh, how we want it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be focused on on that. So let me uh, create a new project here. Let's go to new project. Let's uh, click on this guy. One time. Swift UI animation. Great. And then let's uh, let's close this guy. All right. So what we're gonna probably start with first is uh, the tab bar. Okay. So I'm gonna come in here, create a new file. Let's call this tab tab bar. I'm going to embed this into an H stack. And then we're going to embed this H stack into a V stack. Um, I'm going to copy this three times. Oops. And then I'm going to come in here and image system name. Let's make this house. Copy this. Uh, magnifying glass person uh, fill okay then click the zoom close this increase the size let's move this over like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reference just so we can uh, get through this as fast as we can here um, oh my fault that's what I did so I actually I lied so what we're gonna do is cancel this grab this and cut it. I'm actually going to put it right here. I'm going to delete this. Trash. And then, so if we come down to, I believe this is yeah, content view. Yeah, There's a lot. Okay. Uh, tab bar. Frame width 40. Yeah. yeah. Yep, so, so frame with 40, height 40, I'm going to copy all this, come in here, uh, foreground color, dot gray, copy all this, it's going to be a couple video series guys, just so you guys know, um, and then we're going to come in here and do uh, we're gonna show in the we're gonna show in the dot background for a second, and let's zoom let's zoom around like this, and uh, some spacers come in here. Uh, padding of horizontal and let's do fifty. Okay. Submit this into a V stack, and then we're gonna check sub view. Call this tab bar. Okay, so we have our tab bar. We're gonna add functionality and all that later. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create. Uh, let's do something quick and easy, and let's do the search page. Um, yeah. Alright, let's do a search page. Uh, 
Massive UI, search page, embed in B stack, search for a card. So zoom, come in here and add an H stack. Let's do an image system name. Magnifying glass. Come in here, let's do a text field. Let's search search cards and undo I'm gonna take the styling for this now and I'm gonna take the padding and everything that we have for the magnifying glass as well. So we're not gonna waste our time doing that. And then add a frame with 250. I think the height is like 44. Yep. Uh, let's do background color that white. That white. Should copy this. Copy the shadow. Okay, got the shadow down. Text field, see if this preview can show up. A spacer here. And then let's do a offset of one minus fifty. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I can't stand Swift UI's preview. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Um, so actually, yeah, we're gonna embed this into another V stack. And then we need a Z stack in here. Let's do a search page. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> um, no time to waste here. Profile page, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we got a spacer here, and we also gotta take this. And yeah, let's add that. Okay, so I think we're good there. Profile page. Head on over to profile page. And what we have here is an H stack. So I'm going to an H stack. Let's take this. Hello. Let's embed you into a V stack. Let's copy this. Hello, a dip card. Come in here, add an image. What we're going to do is head on over to assets, bring my AJ's profile picture. In pictures, pictures in there. Profile. AJ, that resizable. Got frame width 40, height 40. So we that. Command click the V stack, show Swift UI inspector. Let's push it left. Um, it's coming here, add a, add a space of these. Let's header, add a padding, down horizontal, uh, let's do 25. And then what we need to do, we need to style 
Let's definitely just copy this real quick so that we don't have to run all this out. So pretty much just saying, um, you know, system uh, size 19, weight bold, rounded, right? Um, pretty self-explanatory. And then what we're gonna do is um, let me come down and we're gonna add a view stack. Images just outside of these stack. Okay, so let's embed this into a these stack, and let's come down here, and let's add another V stack, V stack, and let's add some text. I'm just gonna copy the text I have. Little, oops, oh, little information about me. I'm going to take the styling to that. Styling. Then I'm going to add a button. And so get in touch. I'm going to take this, spot, this uh, styling for the text. And then I'm going to also take the styling for the button, which is kind of a lot. And let's put it right in here. We have frame width, foreground, background, color, corner radius, uh, customized shadow here, um, so you guys can see it, and then padding the top. Um, we're also going to do a dot padding of horizontal 25. Okay, cool. So it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking really good. And all we need to do now is let's fold this guy and let's fold this guy. And we need to add a spacer. And we need to add a spacer. And then we need to do a padding that top of 50. I think that's what I have. Oh, it's 100. Hundred and uh, should be good. All right, so go back to a content view here. Uh, let's do the profile page. Okay, so now we got sh now. Okay, so search. So now the computer is caught up. This should okay, perfect. So search looks great. Now what we want to do is create the home page. Okay, let's go reference the home page. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the card first. So uh, let's come in here at a V stack. Let's do uh, sample cards. Zoom that. And we're going to add a button. And I'm just going to say button. It's going to say text. And let's do view. Let's grab this button. Styling is cool. Okay, so let's grab the button. Yeah, let's grab the button styling. And let's grab the sample. It's going to be white for now. So pretty much we have a size 34, bold, rounded, foreground white. And then for the button, we have frame 140, foreground, corner radius. You know, same old stuff we've been going over. Um, and then we're going to do, I'm just going to copy the V stack styling. So this. Styling for this frame is 180 by 240, background color, and then uh, corner radius and shadow, custom shadow. These are all things I've gone over in my Swift UI for Newbies course, so go ahead and check that out for sure. Um, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to embed in a V stack and it's just just extract all this cards. Let's resume. And then what I need to do, I'm almost positive, is uh, put this in a repeat. Let's put this in another V stack. And um, let's put this in another. Z, it's going to be a scroll view, 
This is gonna be a lazy V grid. And it's gonna be column. I'm just gonna copy what we need to put. So let me just uh, copy all this. Okay, so what we have right now is a lazy V grid, which we're telling it to do a minimum of 200 with spacing of minus 10. And what's what that means is it's going to try its best to fit as many of these cards based on its frame in here with a minimum screen size of 200. If we do like 400, you see it, it can't really, right? Can't really do it. Um, if we do, well, we could we could do some really. I mean. I mean, we could do some really cool animations with this, I bet, but for now, we're just going to do 200. It just scales correctly. And then what we need to do is we actually got to do 10 and then padding top of 40. And that gives some really good spacing, right? And then uh, we want to do show indicators. Okay. Okay, so if we play this, it should scroll. Yep, it does. Cool. And then, uh, last but not least, we're going to need to add a these last two things to the scroll view. So I'm just going to do that. Not, so max width, so just automatically take up the width and then just a padding of top here 20 come in here to add uh, the home page all right so we have everything that we need um, and in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna create we're gonna pretty much create this animation here um, Yeah, so we're going to create all of these animations. So home, search, profile, we're going to do all that. So I will definitely see you in the next episode. Let me know what you guys think of this so far, what you guys think of the design. Um, but yeah, very, very excited to drop part two tomorrow potentially. Um, but I might get to it today. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. We went through a lot of stuff. We went, a lot, went through organizing our views and different files we went through v stacks z stacks h stacks we went through padding custom shadows a custom tab bar with an h stack um, we went through a lot guys so um definitely let me know what you guys think and uh i will definitely 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 uh be updating you um uh with with the next episode so make sure you click that subscribe so you can get you can see the, the animations we create. Um, but until then, I'll see you in the next show.